Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create empty table depending on definition of an existing table in Kusto. So that's uh, often we come to these type of situations uh, where we have existing table and then we would like to create an empty table with another name. So think about that. Uh, I have right here this is a table called total sale one and I would like to create another table maybe just for the region Asia or for region uh, Europe or North America. So I would like to create three more tables and uh, depending on the definition of total sale one table so let's take a look on the columns here i have id column that's integer then i have sale person first name string then another one sale person last name string and then more columns of different data type such as integer date time here and the real okay now uh, first of all there are multiple ways this is one of the way i was taking a look on the definition if you want to use kusto query to see the definition of this table you can use the dot show table and table name and say schema as json so in this uh, query it's going to return us the schema of this table as a json let's uh, expand this uh, and now what we can see right here we can see the name of the, the table then we can see the schema so see right here that's a uh, different uh, columns what we have here is id and that's uh, int 32 then we have a sale person first name and then the data type is the string so this is how you can see the entire definition of this table and the database name it is existing is called the techbrows db the folder and dot doc string is empty for this table now think about that i would like to create the uh, another table called the total sale asia so in the total sale one there is some data already there actually no there is no data i deleted that or something so that's fine we don't really have to do anything about that because even the table has the data we will be creating empty table how you will be creating empty table you will say in dot create table new table name based on and then you will say the existing table name in this case uh, let's say if we would like to create a, a total sale asia table depending upon the definition of our uh, total sale one so in this case i'm going to say total sale asia table right and then uh, it is going to be total sale one that's the existing table so as of now you can't really see total sale asia table anywhere here so i'm going to execute this uh, statement and it will create a table so now new table is created and uh, that's empty table depending upon the definition of uh, total sale one so total sale asia is the uh, exactly same copy of uh, total sale one now there are multiple things what we can do if uh, i would like to create an other table let's say total sale asia and uh, instead of uh, let's say total total sale europe okay and meanwhile uh, what i would like to do i would like to put uh, uh, doc string i would like to have this description given to this uh, table so i can say based on total sale one and uh, total sale one and here uh, what we can do doc string equal to this is used for asia and i'm going to say this is used for europe customer or cust actually sale okay and then uh, i can also put this table in some folder as of now there is no folder for this uh, uh, new table right so if i can go ahead and say uh, europe sale okay so this is going to create a new table a total sale europe based on a total sale one table and uh, add this uh, doc string to it and also add into the folder now if you notice here there is no folder here so once i run it it's going to create a new folder so let's go to the tables and uh, see right there we have a to europe sale in the europe sale we should see our table total sale europe that's the new table created so i can just expand that it is exact replica of our total sale one table if you would like to see the definition of this table you can always say show table table name and then schema as json and then it will give you the definition there is another statement uh, what you can do you can say show dot tables and uh, it will show you the list of the tables uh, and it will also show you the doc string uh, and uh, the folder so in this case uh, we have a total your sale europe you can see right there and uh, here let me expand that a little bit and uh, then uh, you can see right there 
so europe sale that's the folder in which this table exists and the doc string that's the descriptive information or text what we can display here so that's what we are displaying for this table and you can expand this to see more details okay so this is how you will create an empty table depending on some existing table in Kusto. i hope this video will help thanks very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video